going back home to the UK and just working in nightclubs and that sort of thing, you know, which was okay. It was great fun, but obviously it wasn't what I'd set out to do. And I spent the next 10 years in some sort of drunken haze. I just partied whenever this <laughs> pesky voice calling me to do something with my life came up. I just drank a bottle of wine and <laughs> went out to party, you know, and that's what I did for for a, a, de- a good decade. And the thing that stopped that was I was told I couldn't get pregnant Um And I did. (laughs) I did. And I was like, wow, okay, well, this is happening. And I was really happy about it, you know. And um, obviously, because I was pregnant, I was no longer able to block things out. I wasn't able to block out that pesky voice with alcohol anymore. I just had to deal with it. And so the voice got stronger and stronger. And one day I just thought, do you know what? I'm going to have to do something about this. So I found an acting class, started attending. I was told by the acting coach that I I didn't have it. I just didn't have what it takes to be an actor. I asked them, well, what is it and how can I develop it? They had no answer for me. So at eight months pregnant, I left crying. <laughs> you know. You don't say something like that to an eight-month pregnant woman full of hormones. So, yeah, I was bawling my eyes out um, and I left thinking, that's it, it's all over. Had a baby. (laughs) Um, And then I just I just thought, you know what? I've given I've given birth. I've created life. If I can do that, then you better believe that I can act. Two months later, two months after I'd given birth, I got my first paid 